Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome. And if you're new here, hi, my name is Courtney. I teach travel tips and travel hacking all so that you can travel more for less. Today, we're gonna to be talking about how to access airport lounges. Airport lounges are a great way to relax and escape the busyness and craziness of an airport before your flight. So today I wanna to walk you through how to access airport lounges, whether it's your home airport or you're traveling somewhere in the States or abroad. Let's first talk about United lounges and how you can enter them. United offers 45 lounges all across America, and they provide a really great place to eat and drink and relax before your flight. There are five ways that you can gain entry to a United lounge. First being a United club membership. You can purchase a annual membership for $650 or 85,000 United miles. Unless you are a premium platinum or premium 1K member, then you can purchase the annual membership for $550 or 75,000 miles. The second way to enter a United Lounge is by having a premium cabin ticket. If you're flying internationally on a premium cabin ticket with United or a Star Alliance partner, you will have access to all United Club lounges. Third, Star Alliance Gold Status. If you hold Star Alliance Gold Status from any Star Alliance airline, you can access United Club lounges when flying internationally on United or any other Star Alliance. The fourth way and probably the most popular is getting access through a credit card. If you have either a United Club business card or a United Club Infinite card, you can receive a United Club membership and use it to access all United Club lounges. Now, the United Club Infinite card does have a $525 annual fee. So if you were thinking about getting the United Club membership, which does cost $650, you might as well just sign up for the credit card because you will get additional bonuses and additional miles. Now let's discuss ways that you can access Capital One lounges. The first way is by being a VentureX card holder. VentureX card holders get unlimited complimentary access and they also can bring up to two guests for free each time. If you're an authorized user of someone of a VentureX card holder, you also will get free access. The second way is by being a Capital One VentureX business card holder. And the third way you can access the Capital One lounges is by purchasing a day pass. The day passes can be purchased for $65. There are currently three Capital One lounges located in the U.S. with two more under construction. The next lounge access I want to talk about is the Priority Pass. And if you are a frequent traveler, you've definitely seen Priority Passes in the airport or you've definitely at least heard of them. Priority Pass is a membership card that gets you access to over 1,300 different lounges worldwide. There are currently a few different ways that you can get a Priority Pass membership. The first is just by purchasing the membership through the website. You can get a standard pass for $99 or a standard plus for $329. And that also includes 10 free guest passes. The other way is just to have a credit card that gives you access to Priority Pass. And those credit cards are the Chase Sapphire Reserve, the American Express Platinum, and the Capital One Venture X. Now, arguably one of the most popular lounges are the Delta Sky Lounges. And Delta has received a lot of scrutiny over the last couple of months and even the last year because they've made a lot of policy changes to how you can access their lounges. So I'm going to share a couple ways to access with you today, but I do think it would be beneficial to make a full separate video on how to access the Delta lounges just because it's so intricate. One of the ways that you can access Delta lounges is by having an eligible credit card. That would be the American Express Platinum or the Delta Reserve cards. 
You can also access Delta lounges if you are flying first class premium cabin or a Sky Team premium cabin. If you have Delta Gold, Platinum, or Medallion and you're flying internationally, you can also access the lounges. Like I said, let me make a separate video. If that's something you think that would be beneficial or you'd be interested in, do leave a comment below. Having lounge access makes traveling so much easier and so much more enjoyable being able to eat a full meal, whether it's a breakfast or a dinner, or even picking up a snack, having access to a open bar and having a quiet place to relax, work, or even just catch up on some emails or some sleep. Airport lounges are just an elite way to travel. So hopefully with these tips, you can access an airport lounge on your next trip. If you're interested in seeing more travel related content, be sure to subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in the next video.